Hello guys, I'm back here today in White Stone Fortress Certificates. I'm just going to show you a couple uh, farms um, and you know, kind of how they work. I don't don't mind this. So first of all, we have a wheat, potato, or a carrot farm, which you know you just you just plant them in here. You hydrate them either with water. I have some back in there. And I also have one in there. That'll hydrate most of it. You can do the same up here. Right, and this, even though those are sticky pistons, if you have a block that can fall like sand or gravel, you can use a um, normal piston. It doesn't have to be. Doesn't, doesn't it? Doesn't have to be a sticky piston if you don't have it. So what happens here is there's water here. Folks, this piston will attract, sending the water out here. After that happens, these come down and the water can flow out. Uh, so, so you see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven repeaters here. But only one, two, three, four, five, five full repeaters on each one, or at least the essentiality of. Yeah, yeah. So you, know, so you can do that, and that will be fine. So that's how many repeaters I have here. But if you have this longer out, you want this wall to always hit this wall before these pistons retract. Uh, you know, just simple as that. Then the water, you know, pulls everything, breaks all the wheat and pumpkins, or not pumpkins, potatoes or whatever, comes down into a hopper, into a, into a hopper, into a chest. You'd have your wheat or whatever in that chest. Now then over here I did some other ones. First of all, if you have a water bucket here, it will hydrate all of this. All of that one bucket of water will hydrate, so that's that's pretty good. Um, if if it's tilled, it will hydrate all that, but it won't. Something else, uh, it can't hydrate up. Like water can hydrate down. You know what I mean? Like if you have water, and then you know, let's say let's say the water's right here, and you have dirt down here, it can hydrate down to it. But not up to it. If it was over here, it wouldn't be able to hydrate this block. It can't go up. Okay, so then you have two different uh, pumpkin or melon farms. This one, it comes down, and then theoretically, you'd be able to have this and just take it in. But that either works or it doesn't work, and sometimes it wouldn't work because it would get caught up in here. And then you also have your your other pumpkin farm. This is where your pumpkins would be. You just hit that. This is where your, your plants would be, and then, boop, they get broke. Then you just, you know, kind of sprint down, you take them all into yourself, and you leave it as. And then you have your sugarcane foam. This is how that works. Once the sugarcane is up high, you just hit that, and that breaks it. You know, you gather your sugarcane, and you, you hit that, and then it's back to normal. I have this hue, this block hue. So that if the if your can comes up to full height, which is four blocks, so one, two, three, four. No, that, no it can't come up to three. Four is unnatural, I think. So if it comes up to you know full, it can't you know pop up on top of these pistons and get stuck there. You can do that as long as you like. Now you also just a nice little uh, nice little you know trick thing. Uh, what I was saying before, I was trying to explain it. I had a whole other video and it was just too long. It was like half an hour long and that's not good for a tutorial video because people don't want to see that uh, you want you want this to be no longer than seven um, seven long because then the the uh, it, the water could flow down you know seven I mean eight but it wouldn't be able to go down so you see like here one so from the water one two three four five six I could have that makes it seven, and that's this is the most I could have. So I could have at most a five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So I guess at most I could have a five wide uh, farm here. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so at most I could have a five wide farm, and then if you just least out. All of this again, you could just keep going if you just keep redoing all of this wiring here with more pistons and stuff. You could you could keep doing it. 
and then these pads too. They can they can be no longer than seven. You see, this is seven. This is seven here. No, this is actually eight because it's the final one. But like this one here can't be any longer than seven. It's six at the moment because of this. But this wouldn't be able to be any longer than seven. So this here is the longest it can be, and then this is also technically the longest this could be. But that can be eight, and I think you actually want it to be eight. So that that way, when you activate it, the water will come down and just meet right there, not go on top of it, just meet right there, so that all of the blocks come down into this water stream here. And something to note, in 1.6 they fixed this. You used to not be able to jump up that, you can jump up that now. Slash, time, set, I can't spell today, zero. Right, then when you hit it again, that pops up, mm, those come up. So when you're doing the timing, if it is longer, you just want this, this water to hit this wall before these retract. Just to say it again. So this last one can be 8. I don't know how it would work being 7. Let's test that. If you do it all with 7, it's probably not a, a terribly bad thing. I would assume it's, you know, you can still do that. Um, no, you cannot have it be seven, seven long. It has to be eight long. Otherwise, that happens, which is not good. So it must. This last one going into the water to to collect must be eight. All the other ones can be no more than seven. You know, so cool thing like this, like these ones, can be as long as you want, as long as. Where the uh, where the plant themselves is is hydrated because you just you just need enough pistons, but it is a lot of pistons. It's one piston per block long. I suppose you could have one piston for twelve blocks long if you do it lengthwise. Like let's say you have you three three three. Let's say you have like this. Everything you know, all you all your plants. Oh, I thought I, I thought I heard something. All your plants like right here, let's say. You could, I guess, theoretically have a piston though, and just power that. Right, and then you'd have to have another piston over here, which you would then power afterward. And then that would just kind of push them into each other. Like so. Right, and then whenever you want to host it again, you just switch the uh, the redstone signal with probably a T flip flop. And then you just reactivate this one. Again, you could just use a T flip flop for all of this. And it's back. So you could have two pistons per twelve blocks instead of a one for one. So that's a that's a one for six. This is a, a one for one. Uh, this is how to though. There was more wiring because you need the T flip flop and your double. Uh, but probably it, it's this is more intense wiring, I suppose you could say. But less pistons. Just more wiring. This is more pistons, less wiring. Also down here, you see how this is set up with the with the repeaters, every single one. You could do like that, and that does the exact same thing. See, there's just barely a little, little bit of a delay there. That's fine. So you can do that with, of course, either one. Just toss it in there, and it works fine. And again, same thing over here. Just if you're doing this one, you can't do that because there has to be a delay. Like, you could put that there, but there wouldn't be enough of a delay uh, for th for it to work, which is the problem. So just some quick little forums. Probably wasn't quick. I don't even know how long this episode was. But again, probably one of the last videos before I go to Texas, and I'm not here for about, like, probably honestly two weeks before I get out another video. Uh, but thanks for watching.
and I hope to see you guys next time. You know, subscribe, you just have to wait a little while, but subscribe and you'll see more. The next video will be redstone tips and tricks. Or, if you comment, I will take your comment and turn it into an episode if you want something. Like, if you want me to, you know, do a, a cow farm, like an automatic cow farm, I'll show you how to make an automatic cow farm with redstone. So just comment away, and I'll do that for you. Thanks for watching.